Okay, Thursday split strength. Two minute warm up here. We'll start with some nice arm circles backwards. We have six rounds of work today. Three exercises per round. It's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna do something different for every round. We'll be on the floor for the majority of class. So that will be fun to switch it up a little bit. And switch arms. Just something different, something new. Let's do a chest opener here. First set is gonna be legs. So we're gonna do a squatting set here. Let's get into a lateral lunge. Just back and forth, staying stationary with those feet. Warming up our legs. Before this first set. Awesome, let's do one more on each side. Let's do some butt kickers. Activating those hamstrings. Do some high knees here. Starting my workout on my watch. And some nice hip openers out to the side. Then we'll bring it back towards the middle. We'll take my favorite reverse lunge here. Opening up that front hip. Take some deep breaths here. And we'll switch sides. Last stretch before we get started. Deep breath in. Awesome. Let's grab those squatting weights. We're just gonna start with a simple suitcase carry squat. Squatting down and up. Feet are hip width distance. Knees tracking over your toes. Using your quads and your glutes to stand up. Your chest is tall. Awesome. Let's get it started. Woo woo. Take it at your own tempo. Good work. Set your pace now. About 20 seconds left here. Good work. 10 more seconds. You got it. We got three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go into a lateral lunge. So we're gonna step out to the sides, weights on either side of your knee. Let's go. One minute on the clock. Option to stay stationary here. Switch from side to side or take that step as well. Setting your glute backwards, using your inner thighs to pull you back up to stand. Nice job, guys. 20 seconds left. Hinging at your hips. 10 more seconds. We got three, two, and one. Okay, last leg exercise. Keeping those weights in your hand. We're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. Hinge at your hips, slow and controlled. Back up to stand. Let's go. Opening up your hamstrings and your glutes, contracting those back up. Weights come to mid shin before you stand up. Belly button pulled towards your spine, protecting that low back as you're hinging your hips. Nice 
Nice work, everyone. Last leg exercise. Then we're gonna go do arms. Ten more seconds. Finish strong. Three, two, and one. Woo! Set those heavy weights off to the side. Grabbing a weight you can curl with. We are gonna do two exercises per minute. So our first one, we're gonna start with a wide arm bicep curl to a hammer curl. Join me here when you're ready. Slow and controlled on the way down. Curling up and down. Bicep curl, hammer curl. Bicep curl, those palms come up towards your shoulders. Hammer curl, heads of the dumbbell come towards your shoulders. Good work. Ten seconds left. We got three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do a front raise to a lateral raise. Not letting gravity control us. Three, two, one, let's go. Front raise, lateral raise. We don't want those shoulders to creep up into our ears. Those are back and down. Not letting gravity control your weights. You're controlling those weights with your muscles. Halfway done. Keep it up. Good job, guys. These are sneaky. Ten seconds. You got it. Let's go. The three, two, and one. Okay, last arm exercise. We're gonna do an overhead press to a 90 degree raise. We'll start that in three, two, one. So narrow press up coming down to a 90 degree raise. Kind of like you're a bird flapping its wings. Up to press, down like you're a hammer curl, out and fly. Up and press, weights come to 90. Come to a little bit, there's a little bit of a pulse movement in the middle. Come down and fly. Woo! Shoulders on fire today here. Pressing up, coming down and fly. 10 seconds, you got it. Last exercise of this round. We got three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, little rest here. If you want, you can take your weights to the floor. We are gonna be on the floor for our next hip bridging set. So those weights can be on your hips. We're just gonna start with a normal hip bridge. Weights on your hips. We'll press up and down. Weights in your heels. Slow and controlled. Two counts up, two counts down. You do not have to use your weights here if you don't want. What's coming next is some pulsing in a hip bridge here. We 
got 10 seconds left before those pulses start. We got three, two, and one. Okay, option to set your weights off to the side, option to keep them on. We're gonna pulse up for 30 and out for 30. We'll start here, three, two, one, up, up an inch, down an inch. You're at the top of your hip bridge, just coming down an inch. Again, weights in your heels. You should be feeling this in your glutes. Slight core engagement, making sure that back is protected as it's elevated off the ground. We got three, two, and one. We're pulsing out to the sides. Your knees come out, just like imagining there's a band on your legs, you're pressing against that band while holding high at the highest point of your bridge. Pulsing out an inch in an inch, holding tall. Feel it in your glutes, you got it. We got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, last exercise for bridging in this round. We're gonna do a frog bridge. So your feet come together like they're in a butterfly position. And we're gonna do a frog bridge up here in three, two, one. Frog bridge up. So you're pushing into the sides of your foot. This should contract your glute medius a little bit more. Your range of motion is gonna be a little bit different here. A little bit less. Again, those weights are optional. Over, halfway done, keep it up. Keep it going, slow and controlled. 10 more seconds. Yeah, three, two, and one. Woo, okay. We are gonna roll onto our sides. We're gonna do some sideline work here. So you can be propped up on your elbow or down on the side. We're gonna start with leg lifts here in three, two, and one. Let's go. Lift and lower. I want your hips to stack on top of each other. No rolling to the back or rolling to the front. Make sure they're straight up and down. Foot can be flexed or pointed. We're really trying to get into that glute once again. This is gonna be a burner, guys. We're gonna do one side, and then we're gonna do the other side. So bear with me. Next, we have circles here. about 10 more seconds, then we'll get a 10 second break. Keep lowering and lifting, check in with your pelvis. Three, two, and one. 10 second break. Okay, we're gonna do circling next. We do 15 seconds forward and backwards of small circles, and then 15 seconds forward backwards of little circles. So, little circles forward for 15. Help, that'll help break our one minute up here. So we got three, two, and one. Let's go backwards. Little circles backwards. Imagining there's a pencil on the bottom of your foot. You're making about quarter size circles. Three, two, one. Let's do big circles backwards. Woo! Good job, guys. Way to hang in there. And big circles forward here in three, two, one. Big circles forward. Last circling on this leg. You got it. Whoop, whoop. Three, two, and one. Woo, 10 second break. Well deserved. 
Okay, we got it. Next exercise, rainbows. Forward and backwards. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Like you're drawing a rainbow with that bottom of your foot, just like you were drawing the circles. We'll do this for 45 seconds. Last 15 seconds, you're gonna hold it high. Nice isometric contraction to finish this out. Then we got the other side. Keep it going. You can do it. Keep moving. Four, three, two, and hold it up. 15 seconds, hold, you got it. Check in with your hips. Make sure they're stacked. Can you hold it a little bit higher? We only have five seconds, you got it. Three, two, and one. Woohoo! Okay, take a little figure four stretch here before we're gonna roll on to the other side here. Okay, finish that out. Roll on to your other side. We're lifting here in three, two, and one. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Slow and controlled. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Make sure you're feeling it in your glute. Don't want it to feel it in your hip. Should also feel it in the side of your leg here. Good job, guys. Slow and controlled, we got 15 seconds left. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! 10 second break here. Before we go into our little circles forward, little circles back, big circle forward, big circle back. Three, two, and one, circle forward. Little, little circles. 15 seconds here. You got it. Woohoo! Three, two, one, backwards. Four, three, two, big circles backwards. Use that glute. We're going forward in three, two, and one. Forward circles, big circles. Finish strong. You got it. Way to go. You got three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, we're back to those rainbows, guys. You went through that so quickly. Rainbows and then a hold in three, two, one. Forward and back. Check in with your hips. Make sure they're straight up and down. No rolling forward or backwards. Foot is flexed or pointed. Choose what feels best for you. You can do it. 15 seconds left, then we're holding. Three, two, and one, hold it high, you got it. How high can you hold it? Make sure you're into your muscles, not into your joints. Check in, five, four, three, Two and one, woohoo! Well deserved figure four before we stay on our backs and do some core. We'll start that core in a dead bug here. So reverse tabletop, arms up high, feet out high. We're going 
opposite arm, opposite leg. So lengthen that leg out as it comes to the floor, hovering over the floor, and then contracting it back in with your abdominal muscles. Take this at your own pace, making sure that low back is flush with the floor, belly button pulling towards your spine. Good work, guys. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Pulling that in. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, next thing we're gonna do, Pilates roll up. So, feet can be out in front of you, long or planted. You are gonna roll all the way up tall, looking at the ceiling, rolling one vertebrae at a time all the way down. It's a little bit more controlled than a sit up. Again, belly button pulled towards your spine. That's how you're gonna get up tall here. And rolling back down. Reach up tall, lengthening our spine. Slow and controlled. 20 seconds left, then it's our last exercise. Ten more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's have our legs up the wall. This is our last exercise. Hands can be underneath your bottom if you'd like. We're gonna go legs down and up. Leg lower and left. Option here, one leg at a time. The other leg stays up the wall as the other one lowers. Pressing that low back into the ground, making sure we're out of our hip flexors in the front, going as low as you can, whatever feels best for your body. Last 30 seconds, you got it, keep going. Last 10 seconds, you can do it, dig deep. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work, okay. Long body stretch, stretch out those abs as they were contracted. And let's hug in one of your knees, give it a nice big squeeze. And then we'll go into another figure four. We did a lot of glutes today. Pulling in that knee. Making sure you feel a nice hip opener here. And we will hug that knee in as our other leg goes out long. Switching it out, other side, figure four. Good work, guys. Working on, even though we were on the floor for most of class, hopefully you felt like you got a great workout in. Okay, let's roll up to sit right here. Arms can come out behind you. Fingertips pointed towards your feet. Bending those arms just a little bit, just until you feel a slight stretch in the front of your shoulders. Take a deep breath here. And out, we'll roll back up to stand, or to sit, sorry. We'll do a nice side body stretch here. All the way over. And we'll swoop forward into the other side. And 
and our legs can go out long. We'll finish class with a nice forward fold. Thank you guys for coming. Reminder that next week we have Monster Mash on Tuesday, 45 minute cardio and strength combined class. We will be in costume, so that should be enough of a reason to show up. <laughs> Thanks guys.